In Bioplasty Research, we aim to respond to two modern and tremendous problems, plastic waste pollution and the arrival of enormous quantities of sargassum algae in the Caribbean Sea, both of which are causing major environmental and economic challenges in the region. Plastic pollution has triggered numerous attempts to shift to a more sustainable use of our resources, and yet, a world without plastics is very unlikely today. Plastics have proven to be of a greater advantage than other materials, lower energy and water usage to be produced, lower cost, and easier handling compared to glass or paper. The global market of plastics is expected to reach 722.6 billion US dollars in the upcoming years. On the other hand, around 6 billion tons of plastic were produced until 2015, of which 9% were recycled, 12% were incinerated and 79% were thrown into landfills and marine environments. This means that 4,977 million tons will remain on the planet for several hundred years. The second problem we're seeking to tackle is the large amount of sargassum arriving in 19 countries on the Caribbean Sea and is forecasted to continue in the upcoming years. Sargassum in this region comprises of two species of brown macroalgae, Sargassum fluitans and Sargassum natans. These are pelagic algae that grow in the open sea. The extensive blooms of sargassum has worsened the physiochemical conditions of the sea, damaging coral reefs, seagrass mats, and have majorly affected tourism and fishing industries. Solutions to these problems have been incomplete. True biodegradable plastics are scarce. Why? Mainly because they are expensive. In Mexico, most of them are imported and difficult to scale up to an industrial level. Our contribution to these problems merge in a comprehensive material, a 100% biodegradable bioplastic made from sargassum seaweed. Our vision is to transform today's paradigm, shift from treating sargassum as a waste to using it as a formidable resource. Our advantage lies in the formulation and the widely available material. Unlike other bioplastics that rely on agricultural byproducts or on crops such as corn or potatoes. An example of this is polyactic acid, commonly known as PLA. To produce one kilogram of this biomaterial, 2.6 kilos of corn and 2,450 liters of water are needed. 270 million tons of PLA are produced per year, which is only 4% of the world's plastic production, using 715 million tons of corn instead of using it as food. We aim to develop and commercialize two types of biomaterials. First, bioplastic pellets to be used as raw material by already existing industrial machinery in the plastic industry in order to manufacture daily use products. Secondly, a biodegradable non-woven fabric for surgical kits and face masks. As our research has shown, our process has an outstanding manufacturing yield. Using one ton of sargassum, we can produce around five tons of bioplastic. We can also adjust the plastic's properties and biodegradability times to ensure customized applications, making it very accessible and adaptable to a variety of markets. We desire to be a part of the transformation of two important problems into opportunities for our community and pushing forward technological development in the region. We are a team ready to promote the biodegradable plastic industry in Mexico. We appreciate your interest and I invite you to learn more details about our bioplastic.